Today we will discuss about the transport of the macromolecules across the plasma membrane. Means how, how the larger particle get transported in and out of the cell across the plasma membrane. So basically there are the three different uh, type of the transport mechanism by which a particle can move inside and the outside of the particular cell across the plasma membrane. So first one is the endocytosis and the second one um, is exocytosis, the third one is the transcytosis and the phagocytosis, pinocytosis, clathrin mediated endocytosis and cavioli mediated endocytosis are the different form of the endocytosis pathway only. So let's get started. We have discussed that the smaller molecules or the molecules which are usually small in the size which are basically uh, have the hydrophobic region they get easily dissolved and get trans, uh, traversed across the plasma membrane or in fact the iron molecule or some uh, larger molecule can easily transfer across the plasma membrane or transport it across the plasma membrane with the help of some carrier protein or by forming a channel across the plasma membrane but what about the larger particles what about the some foreign particles which get entered into our body how is it possible they get entry in easily inside into our body so here is the mechanism of the transport of the macromolecule how these larger particles get easily entered into our body basically it is with the help of the process called as endocytosis endocytosis as the name suggests inside of the cell okay when something is coming inside of the cell or transportation of the molecules from outside to the inside of the cell, that process is known as the endocytosis. Exocytosis means the transportation of the molecule from inside of the cell to the outside of the cell as the arrow indicates toward the outside of the cell. This process of transportation of the molecule is known as the exocytosis mechanism. Now, transcytosis, what does it mean? Transcytosis. It is indicated by the two different arrow. One is giving, uh, one is going in the inward direction and other is going toward the outward direction. What does it mean? Trans as a name suggests across. So, across the cell, the transport of the mechanism a transport of the macromolecule we can say which are transported across the cell means from one particular region of cell cell is getting entered inside into the cell and through the another end it gets some exit point so that the uh, molecules or the particle can easily enter into our body and get uh, their exit point so that they can uh, exit or expel from the body. Therefore, this process transcytosis involves both the mechanism, the endocytosis as well as the exocytosis. So, let's start with the endocytosis. Endocytosis as the name suggests, it helps in the transportation of the molecule or any larger particle. It could be either a cell debris, it could be an intact cell, it could be a bacteria means a larger particle can easily engulf and internalize into the cell by forming some membrane bound vesicle which contain the material to be digested. As in the diagram we can easily see the plasma membrane get surrounding get surrounds towards the molecules to be ingested and after the projection of their plasma membrane they fuse together a vesicle that is the membrane bound vesicle in which the food particle is usually contained. Now let's get into the detail of the endocytosis process. Endocytosis process is basically are of the four different types. The first one is the phagocytosis. Phagocytosis means cell eating. So this process involves the uptake or the engulfment of the larger particle, basically solid particle and internalized it inside into a body. So let's discuss the step by step the mechanism of the phagocytosis. First step in the process of the phagocytosis is the recognition. Means the particular receptor are present 
in the cyto in the plasma membrane and it gets bind to the particular specific molecule which needs to be internalized inside into a cytoplasm so they recognize a particular molecule and the plasma membrane form the seropodia like structure and they get uh, invaginated or we can say they surrounds the material to be internalized after this they fuse plasma membrane fuse together to form a complete vesicles and vesicle is then released inside the cytoplasm and this vesicle is known as the phagosome phagosome after fuse with the lysosome lysosome basically are acidic in the environment and they have the acidic hydrolase enzyme which help in the digestion of the food material which is intake by the cell after digestion the waste is eliminated and which is then expelled out of the cell with the help of the exocytosis process and this type of mechanism that is a phagocytosis basically is uh, shown by the cell like the macrophages or we can say the another type of uh, the neutrophils the macrophages and the neutrophils are basically called as a professional phagocyte why because they help in defending the body against the pathogen and also they help in eliminating the old cell or any damaged cell out of the body so these type of the cell perform the phagocytosis mechanism 